Yogi Lowe, of course, you know, out at the German Federation. Been there 17 years, 15 years as the manager of the national team. Of course, great success early on, not so much over the last two international tournaments. Jan, has he damaged his legacy with what happened at the World Cup in Russia and then what we just saw at this year's European Championships? Yes, he has damaged his uh, reputation and his uh, legacy, but people will forget that. We are, we are kind human beings. We are kind on those kind of terms because they will remember his World Cup title um, uh, for, for them in Brazil. And Joachim Löb will probably take some time off now. But I, I, he said today in the press conference, I want to go back. I want to, to be involved with, with, with the game. And there are so many of his, of his people now in charge of Oliver Bierhoff has been, Hansi Flick was his assistant, and so on and so on. So there will be, be time enough to praise him. Just give him some time and they will remember his World mm -hmm. Cup title. Nobody, nobody can remember that Otto Rehagler was a coach of Hertha Berlin. I always said that. At the end of the career, you don't remember those kind of things. So Joachim Löw will soon be just remember for taking Germany to the World Cup title. Joachim Löw is a good guy. He's been a bit out of it for, for the last three or four years. Made, made I think, big mistakes. In, in, in terms of building up, being a bit too stubborn for the team. But Joachim Löw has done his job and he's do, done his duty. And as you said, for many, many years, it's unbelievable how long he stayed in charge for one of the biggest football nations in the world. Gabby was asked about it in a press conference. He said he's not interested for now uh, in the Dutch job. Where could he end up in his next managerial stint? It's a good question because obviously, you know, 17 years is a very long time. And it's 17 years very involved, you know, even before when, when he was Jurgen's assistant. Um, I, I don't know that there is much of a market for him uh, because managing a national team is seen by many, rightly or wrongly, as a completely different skill set, especially national side like Germany, especially when you've been there so long. Um, I, I think he's earned the right now to make a choice based on, and also with the big payoff he'll be getting uh, from the German FA, of course, to make a choice where he thinks he's a right fit. And, you know, if he wants to be involved, you know, maybe it's a question you take a smaller team and you see if you can rekindle that passion, working every day, completely different rhythm. Uh, but if I can say one thing about Flick, all the people that expect Germany to be radically different philosophically because Flick is there, um, I think you might want to think again. Uh, I think the problem was perhaps in the execution with Löw, but, you know, Flick really was Löw's right-hand man for so long that I, I think the values and the legacy that live, the concepts that live, um, try to instill in the German national team, I think those are still there and they're not going to go away. What is going to hopefully go away are some of the poor decisions that he made in the execution of those concepts. But uh, his, his place in the history of German football, I think, is secure. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.